And, Pastor Squires, we all know that our rules supersede all other rules that exist in this country. And our golden rule also states that one for all and all for all. And this golden rule has been broken by one of us not once, not twice, but ceaselessly by our Justice and integrity. Exquires. I stand before you all not to defend myself, but to question the meaning of power and authority. Because what we have here. But you cross the line, Suzanne. I am yet to make my point, Richard. I do not intend to waste your time. You've already done that, Susan. Oh. The Lord Chancellor here accuses me of shortchanging the group. But I not only refuse the allegation, but I also wish that the full house will see this as a case of victimization and personal vendetta on my person. Are you accusing the Lord Chancellor of abuse of power? All I say is that those who must come to equity must come with clean hands. Thank you. Esquire, you have just seen the display of Arrogance, unrepentance, and a total disrespect for authority by her. What else did I say? I would suggest that as the Constitution stipulates, she has to be suspended forthwith. S suspend me? Suspend me? For what? For insolence. One above the others. Esquires, I suggest that we do not rush into any action until we properly examine the case on the ground. Prince is there to see the Russian shows now. But don't forget what Article 2 of us. Section 2 1 of the Constitution says, and that is that no member shall be prejudiced in any matters of conflict that arise within the fraternity. All members are entitled to fair and equal hearing. A properly constituted council must be agreed upon by all the parties in dispute for fair hearing because, because an esquire is first among equal and there's none above the other in matters of justice. I summon a council of justice to be composed. As I and so shall it be. With that, one for all. Oh. All for one!
Pretty boy. I think you ruffled some feathers out there. Man, I wonder why I had to open my oh, big man. mouth in the first time. Please, months. please. Don't blame yourself, okay? You did what you ought to have done. Period. Come on, chill. Alright? And that is not good for your position. Duke, it is personal. Very personal. For you, I will let you know the fact that I hate her very sincerely. I wish I could just crush her with my bare hands. Ranger, please. You need to forget the past. There is no present without the past, Duke. I know. But you just think about it. Is it worth it? To always reopening all saw that is healed. No saw is ever healed. There is always a scar that reminds you of the past and the pains that you've gone through. And the she is that pain that I hate to see. Do you know how it started? She and her damned mother don't speak ill of the dead. Oh, Duke, I don't give a damn. I really don't give a damn. She could have been my wife. But her mother connived and terminated her pregnancy all because I was a nobody. Look at me today. Duke, look at me today. But that pain still remains in me like a river. Then, wall it. Wall it like a dime. Ranger, you can't change the past. Yes. But I can atone for the mistakes of the past. And that, I will do. 